from the south side of Chicago welcome to the home of the White Sox guaranteed rate field today a showdown out of the American League Central between the Kansas City Royals and the Chicago White Sox it's baseball it's the show and it comes your way next. Lucas Giolito will get the starting assignment in this one for the Shy Sox. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. With Merrifield next to bat, and we are ready for some daytime Good baseball. The afternoon for Kansas City, the White Beauty with Merrifield. Now here's the first offering. That one bends into the zone a strike on the breaking ball. First pitch four o'clock. A ball and a strike to our leadoff man here this afternoon. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. And it's fouled away. Here now the two two. Gets him looking strike three. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at bat, but the then went back to back once he had the hitter down in the count. Santana. So now Carlos Santana. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Past history with Lucas Giolito, just a three for 13 batting line. He's taken him deep once. Now the 1 0. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. Hero, you know one of the things I guess with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Very weakly on the ground. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And up steps Salvador Perez. Behind on that one now behind in the count 0 and 1 looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Just getting started here on the south side in this one. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here comes the one two. Misses for the second ball. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again so the count's gone from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2. 
hit the other way out toward right field. Eaton is under it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now it's the White Sox turn in a scoreless ball game. Brad Keller a right handed Georgia native gets the starting nod. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Matty V we're looking at a guy that has a pretty good number of pitches that he throws but one in particular is the sinker that he's added to his repertoire when he needs a ground ball or he gets himself into a spot where he needs to possibly roll up a two ball. I think that's the pitch we're going to see often from him in this one that sinker down in the zone and stepping in Tim Anderson he will leave things off here in the bottom half of the first the pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Batting second. The right fielder. Adam Eaton. Ready now for the White Sox. Adam Eaton. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Now a little looper down the left field line and that'll get down for a base hit. Hey the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job but the number two hitter that came through third. right there with the single the setting the table for the big boys. Montada. So here's Juan Moncada as he'll take a look at ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. Eaton. Leads off first with one away. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. On the move is Eaton. He swings and misses. Throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Well, he's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into scoring position. Now we'll see if the guys can pick him up. Here now the 2 2. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch and if he's got that going especially early it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Another try at 2 2 down the third baseline Dozier scoops it up throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Two out runner in scoring that position at second and one of the more pitch. prolific RBI okay. men in the league the last few oh, years great. Jose Abreu will bat next. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out looked at for ball one. Aiming for that outside corner but just missing two and oh. Tread lightly in this situation. Got a great hitter at the plate, runner in scoring position. Don't be afraid. You got the base open. 
two out here and a runner at second. Fouled off. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Dozier brings it in. Throw in time and the side is retired. A man left for the White Sox and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. In is Jorge Soler. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's got three base hits in 17 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's 1 0. The pitch fouled away. The one one hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he struck him out. Boy that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes that elevated fastball every hitter thinks that hey they can do something with that but most of the time you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Hunter Dozier digging in now as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Yanked on the ground down the line. And there's out number two. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First offering on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. One. One Down and away, ball one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And gone. An absolute bomb. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot, and the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Ah, man, that swing right there, Dan, that had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today. You know, and that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball great, one of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats. Standing in now, Michael Taylor. As yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. That's too high, ball two. Down low, and the plot thickens here, three and O. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. Someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. Three and one the count now.
Bases are empty here with two men out. And a full count, three and two to Michael Taylor. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. One ball, no strikes to count. Here's a look over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. A ball and no strikes, here it is. Taylor, the runner at first with two gone. A ball and two strikes now. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Two balls and two strikes now. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. But a run for the Royals here in the inning, and it came on this home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1-0 Royals. Last half of the second set to go. And go. next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Luis Robert. And now a pitch on the way. The 1 0. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And there's one down now. Batting fifth, the catcher, Yamani. Ron Gall. So bases are empty with one out now, and that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Big swing by Grandal and a ball carrying well to right. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot down the line in right as the White Sox have come back to tie it at one. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for Homer. Yerman Mercedes comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. One out, nobody on. Hit to short. Throw gets him, two down. And now, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew. 
Vaughn. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch that might be the case with this one right here took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Here's the 1 1. Tried to hold up there appeal down to first and no swing it's ball two two out nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. The 2 2. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2 and 2, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. But for the Sox, a run here in the inning on the solo home run. We've played two, all even at one apiece. Digging in now for Kansas City, Nicky Lopez. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's just two for 12. Now the first pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Madrigal onto the grass. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Whit Merrifield next to hit. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0. Is taken strike 1. They love the confidence in that pitch right there going right after one of the better hitters on this team not afraid to execute. Bases are empty one man out. There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. When you drive the ball into the gap like that nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Here's Carlos Santana now batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh one pitch on its way. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The one-two is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two-two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Has a look. Now the pitch. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too.
count is full. Here's the pitch. High chopper towards first. Fielded cleanly. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. So a man at third here with two gone. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Merrifield at third with two away. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 0. Oh. Now 2 0 oh with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. The 2 0. Oh. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Now that designated hitter, Jorge Soler. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. And they're runners at the corners now. First offering on its way. Runners at the corners, two men out. That evens it up, one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. All even now, two and two. Here's the two and two. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Royal strand a pair. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Nick Madrigal. The second baseman, Nick Madrigal. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there as it falls in. The batter number seven. Shifts up. Tim Anderson. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. the belt kicks and deals ball one, one ball. leadoff man okay. aboard here in a 1 1 ball game count now a ball and a strike one and one here it comes and he fouls this one off I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Here's the one and two delivery. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The now best bad. ones have that late action that just Atta. darts at the last minute. They're Eat so turn. tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch.
Adam Eaton digging in next as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh one for one with a single so far. Now the one oh is swung on and driven out to right center field a ball that's well hit Taylor is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first so two down and a runner at first and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer Johan Moncada. From the belt kicks and deals a ball and no strikes. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up even though it was in the zone. Madrigal leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Yohan Moncada. Lifted down the line and left. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Three and one to him now. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's set the 3 2. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just okay. missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So next to bat will be Jose Abreu. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Come set the 0 1. Two down runners at first and second. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set and the 2 1. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Three and one, here it is. Now Abreu connects deep to left. Looking up is Benintendi. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So a three run blast is straight away left as they take the lead four to one. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the yard. The next batter will be Luis Robert. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 
He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Popped him up. And Santana will put the squeeze on this one, and the inning is over. Sox get three thanks to this three run home run. Last chance coming up for the Royals. It's now four to one, Chicago. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One away for the Royals here in the fourth. And up next, the exciting left handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. First offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Two balls and no strikes to the Kansas City left fielder. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2-0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Moncada in foul ground. But this will land untouched. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and one pitch. And it's fouled away. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Michael Taylor is on deck. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. High in the air and deep down the line in left. And that's going to land foul. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Royals. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. The center fielder, number two. Digging in next, Michael, Michael Taylor will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Pitch on the way. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side but even more than that to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. KC down to their final strike in this one. Fastball well outside. Hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. 
two out nobody on. Swing and a miss on a pitch that tied him up in knots, and the ball game is over. Hey, it's not easy to win a game, but particularly when you only get four hits, but that's what good teams do when they play good baseball. It's not all about getting hits. It's about pitching, defense, and base running, and they did those areas quite well in this one. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The White Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Lucas Giolito is the winning pitcher of record. Brad Keller worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious White Sox, four runs on four hits, no errors, and they left one man on base.